in case you didn't think so, I'm back. Welcome to Facts Vision FYI, I'm your host Dave Mercer, and this is the Fishing News, Views, and Info You Can't Use show. Living up to our name, we're going to start off with a story that proves to you that just because you're a doctor and you're really smart doesn't mean you're not crazy. Check out this fish. Ooh. I mean, this thing is ripped. Yes. I know what some of you are thinking. That fish is obviously in swimming in front of Mark McGuire's sewage outflow. No, that fish is not a result of steroid riddled urine. That muscle fin freak is a result of Professor Terry Bradley from the University of Rhode Island. You see, the good professor has been messing with the protein levels of the fish. And the result? A fish that would make Hans and Franz jealous. We're going to pump you up. And if you're anything like me, you might be wondering why the professor wanted to create a fish with a six pack and broad shoulders that, that, that made Barry Bonds jealous. Wow. Well, why else? Money. The thought process is if there's more sellable meat on the fish, it's worth more money. If you ask me, I don't know about the economics of it, but it just looks crazy. And I know crazy. <laughs> In the tournament world, our good buddy and a guy who evidently Look at these are my <laughs> oh, oh yeah loves me. Byron Velvick got his first Elite Series win by winning the Golden State Shootout on Clear Lake. This former bachelor Ooh, is one of the anglers that kicked off the swim bait sensation a number of years ago. And how do you think he won it? On a swim bait, of course. He weighed in 98 pounds, six ounces. Just a couple of pounds short of the Century Club, but he cashed in with $100,000. He wasn't the only story in the tournament. Bradley Roy, 19-year-old Elite Series rookie. We talked about him a couple of weeks ago, and he won't go away. This 19-year-old fish and phenom notched his first top 10 in the Elite Series in only his second event. Look out, fishing world. It doesn't look like Bradley Roy is scared of anyone. Well, the Elite Series pros get a week off, but the FLW Tour pros, they're back to work on Lake Norman this week. While pro anglers might be moving all over the country, the one thing that's been moving the most in pro fishing is the Bass Fan World Rankings. I mean, this thing's been up and down like a toilet seat. The number one spot has seemed to be owned by Kevin Van Dam. But a shocking thing happened last week. Brent Eller took the lead, but it didn't stop there. This week, after a fifth place finish at Clear Lake, Skeet Reese is our new leader. There hasn't been this much movement in pro fishing since, well, 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 since I had that bad taco on my last fishing trip in Mexico. 